what's up guys and welcome to new tarot i am the energy and intuitive reader and i'm here to do the general readings for somebody before i put the charms i do want to say in my description box i have my social medias on there i do post on uh on i always get like tongue-tied in this section i don't know why i do post on snapchat i post post twice a week i pull for all zodiac signs in case you'd want to wait for your youtube video to come out you could go check me out on the snap on instagram i post on my story i post positive memes and i give advice and stuff like that in case you guys want to go check me out on there you can all right so gosh i don't know whoever this is whoever we're gonna get i feel like it's frustrated because i'm <laughs> frustrated Pisces, what's going on? Thank you so much for being here. This message can, mes can resonate with you. Oh my gosh. Can the words come out? If you have Sagittarius, wow. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have that in your chart. Pisces, what is going on? Do you guys feel all over the place? Message. I feel like you guys are waiting for a message. And I feel like something is coming. Complicated. <laughs> but I don't think... Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are waiting for this message. And you're like, well, this is it. Once I hear, once, once I hear the message, it's like everything is going to be fine. But it's like, I don't feel that. I feel like it's still going to... If it's so, if stuff is complicated now, it's going to make it still complicated and if it's not it's about to all right this is for sun moon and rising and venus to get how it resonates let's begin pisces pisces thank you bottom of the deck is chaos okay with reminder and playful and high priestess of fire you could be dealing with, with a fire sign pikes is what you don't see coming i feel like <laughs> i feel like a lot of you guys are like in it feels like a chaos situation like you're in the midst of a chaos like it feels like <sighs> it's just like one thing after another after another and you feel like you're just spinning everything is spinning um and i feel like with this chaos card it's just like it just feels like that, but in reality, you're just going through a transformation in your life, right? You could be moving, you could be switching jobs, um, you could be at a new job. I feel like you're just trying to get the, the, the hang of things, okay? And I see that the universe is basically telling you, like, don't forget to have fun, right? This chaos card, like, it does look like a mess, right? It's a tornado, it's a freaking storm happening. But like what I'm getting with the playful and reminder, it's like what you're going through, Pisces, I feel like you're making it seem worse than it is. And I'm gonna be honest with you, because that's what I'm feeling. Because the universe with the playful card, they're like, take it late, chill out, have fun. You know, not like, I know obviously with this chaos, it's not like you can go and throw a party, right? But you can enjoy it and somehow is what they're saying, okay? Like, don't be all down in the dumps, okay? All right, so the first card you have is cycles. There's something here that you keep doing over and over and over again, okay? We're going to see what that is. Uh, you have vision here. Your intuition is showing up. It's like, it's like the, the path is clear, like you can see so what's going on you have meditation here there's something that you should take a break from or a rest from here pisces so let's see what's going on one I feel like you change your perspective on something all right let's see cycles you have the seven of wands okay 
Some of you guys could be 37 years old. Um, you have the Four of Cups. Or the person you could be dealing with. I don't know. You have the Four of Cups. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. With Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the cycle that you've been in, it's like you've been you've been fighting it. You've been fighting it so bad here. Hold on a second. Mm. Some of you guys, this is somebody else fighting you off. That's what I'm getting. Why does this matter? Are they waiting on this person? Okay. Sorry, I had to ask for the pentacles in the because I was a little confused. Um, so I feel like a lot of you guys. I don't know. It's just like there's two different. I'm getting two different messages. I feel like some of you guys are fighting this off, and I feel like others, you, all of you, others of you, it's someone else fighting you off, and this is like a cycle that you guys have been going through with this person okay and i feel like what you don't see coming is that someone's about to switch the damn script on you someone's about to be very very rude with what they're gonna say to you and i also feel like they're not gonna have any emo like not that i have that i can have any emotions let me not say that but the way this feels it's like they're gonna be really mean and they're gonna say a lot of hurtful things that they know could hurt you and whoever you are and whoever you are to this person, it's like they're going to not see that. Okay. And I feel like this is a cycle that you've been going through. And so I asked him, I was like, why do they need to know that this person is going to come like this? Like, who cares? And then, then, then you got the four of swords in reverse. So they're telling me that you're trying to calm, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to relax your mind, right? From this energy. And then I was like, okay, still, why do they, I was like, do, are they waiting for them? And then you have the 10 of wands with the moon. And I feel like, yeah, you are. And I feel like you're also not at the same time because it's like, you don't know what's there with the moon. And I feel like part of you knows it's, it's, it's going to be hard because you don't know, right? Again, take this how it resonates. I, it's very... I don't know if it's you that's pushing this away or somebody else that's pushing this away, but it's like it's the same thing that happens, right? This person comes and they're whatever, but maybe the universe is telling you like this person's gonna come this this time a whole lot different. You might not even really recognize this person, all right, or vice versa, right? Um, what is vision here? You have the six of swords. You're gonna you're gonna be moving past this, okay? You'll be able to um, mentally be in a better state, but you just gotta go through it, my love. The wheel of fortune with the hang one in reverse. Someone is not gonna change their perspective. I don't know whose message that is, and it's and they're and it's faded for them when my when the wheel of fortune comes out. My angels know, like that's to me is faded is destined is destined and faded for someone not to change their mind so don't try to convince someone to do something else no even i feel like some of you guys will be like watch me okay go ahead but i wouldn't someone's not going to change their mind no matter what you do no matter what you say and it's faded for that to happen because probably that is the only way you're going to get out of this cycle right one of you guys has to be very firm on the no for it to end so yeah you could have walked away already okay sorry a lot of messages for you guys today um what is vision here for pisces nine of cups in reverse i feel like your intuition is telling you that you're not happy you're not content here eight of wands in reverse nine of cups in reverse and the five of swords in reverse um, and I feel like you're clear on that, right? Like I said, a lot of you guys know the way, know the path, and you know that 
things aren't working out, things are delayed, this person is not keeping their word on a lot of things. And it's actually getting you out of your head because you're like, you know what? This actually is not what I want. So thank you for showing me who you are. Okay. Because things are very much delayed and you're, and it's like things are delayed. Things are slowing down or something could have not, you could not be talking to this energy here. A lot of you guys know that this is actually driving somebody else insane or crazy. Like, like, like they can't, like somebody's like, like some of you guys know that. Five of Pentacles in reverse with the sun. I mean, listen, <laughs> you're moving on to bigger and better things, okay? You're making goals for yourself. You're making plans. You're getting shit done. You know what I'm saying? You're getting out of this um, lack mentality here. You're working on your money. And like, you're just all happy dancey here. And I feel like there's a part of you that's kind of like, oh, you know... I really wanted this at one point, but now I don't. But I don't feel like you're... I don't feel like you're crying over spilt milk. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. What is um meditation? Or you won't. You have um, the magician in reverse. Three of swords, page of swords, and the eight of cups. With the five of swords. So this meditation card to me usually means take a break, slow down. Um, I feel like your mind could be playing tricks on you. You have the five of swords here with the knight of cups and the eight of wands. Yeah, do not. Do, do not press go. Do not pass to collect $200. Don't do it. Look at what the outcome is going to be, man. Son of Reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Like, you feeling left out and you feeling very unhappy. Okay, so I feel like your mind is playing tricks on you, Pisces. And I feel like it's... I feel like it's telling you to go offer something to someone. Or to communicate with someone. Or to talk to someone. Okay, because you're... And whatever it says, you're really... You know, it's like you, you're thinking about it a lot. You're really stressed out. Okay? No, that's your mind. And it's crazy because our mind sometimes mimics our intuition. I'm learning that now, guys. It's crazy, okay? The mind learns how you talk to your intuition, how you connect to your intuition. And not that the mind is anything bad, okay? I want to say that. Um, we have to become friends with the mind, okay? Um, it's like our mind and our intuition live in a house right the house is the brain right the intuition isn't i think i explained this to you guys before did i maybe it wasn't you the intuition is um in one room and the mind is in another room okay with the doors shut the doors closed that's what's happening right now they're technically once when everything is all slander and everything is great the mind the mind's room and the and the intuition rooms is going to be open so they can chat so they can talk so they can hear each other and share ideas but when one's working more than the other, it's like closed off, right? The mind are the eyes and the intuition is basically to navigate, like the gas, you know, the car, you know. Um, so what I feel like is happening here is like you took a leap of faith, right? You did something and your mind was a little scared about it. Okay, now, you, now you're in a place and you're like, okay, I've done something. And your mind is like, well, we're bugging out here. This is new to us. We don't know what to do. Go and, and offer and say something to somebody. You know, you can't. This is stressing us out. But the mind is only freaking out because it's never been in this situation, right? It, it doesn't like to feel like, like it, doesn't, it doesn't know what it's doing right because the mind doesn't know anything the intuition knows all right our soul our spirit knows everything we're everybody knows what's going to happen before it happens so it's like we sh that's what the voice that we should follow but the mind doesn't get that because the mind can't see more than what's right in front of them so this, i can go on days for this but basically i'm getting off topic I, I apologize basically i feel like your mind is telling you to do something and you think it's your intuition and it's not okay you walked away from this person because they hurt you here. And you and this person, you could have found something out about this person. 
but or you this person like talk but y'all don't really say much with the page of swords or this person still talks to you but you guys don't really say much okay but you walked away from this person the communication is still open there and if it is a conversation it's here and there but it's not like it was so there's still pain but you definitely walked away and you should it should stay that way okay the high priestess look at this I don't want to say listen to your intuition, but I feel like you guys right now, um, it's like, it's really difficult because your mind, like I said, it's like your mind opened the door a little bit, you know, to heat, but opened it in a sneaky way so that the intuition wouldn't know that the mind is opening the door or the mind put his ear to the door and is trying to listen to what the intuition is saying or how you guys are communicating, Right. And then he goes back, okay, now let me sit at my table. Now, how am I going to get Pisces' attention? Okay, well, I'm going to pretend like it's this. And then she's going to know it's her, she's going to think it's her intuition. And then he or she or whoever, however you um, go by. Um, and then I'm going to be able to get what I want. And we're, we're going to be at ease. Because the mind is going crazy now. Okay. Um, but the this happens this happens a lot this is absolutely normal so don't think that you're bugging but i will say is the way to deal with this is remember why you did what you did okay that is that is the first thing second you should never reach out to anybody okay don't be the don't reach out if they're if they're gonna reach if the universe wants them to reach out to you they will reach out to you if not no don't reach out to anybody especially if you already walked away from them okay and third, how you feel. How do you feel if that person does reach out? Because that sometimes does happen. They're meant to come back for a reason. Um, if that person does reach out, how do you feel with that conversation, right? Are you able to talk to them and not think about all of the stuff that they did, right? Um, have you forgiven them, right? It, 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 and, and you have to kind of di digest yourself and put your, digest the situation and put yourself in the most comfortable spot for you, right? Um, if you feel like you can look at this person, you could forgive someone, but you could not want to be with someone or not want to, you know, reconcile with a friendship or a family member because you know that every time you look at them, you're just thinking about everything that they did. And that's absolutely fine. Then you have to create boundaries, separate yourself and that's and to you on your way and them to on their way. Right. But if you could look at someone and forgive them and, and for everything that they did to you, right, because there's pain here. So you walked away because you was hurt. They hurt your feelings in whatever way that they did. Um, and if you're able to over oversee that, then cahoots to you, Pisces, right? But always go by how you feel about the situation, right? Um, but yeah, I only have that today, Pisces, because I was talking a lot and we got to 18 minutes. So I'm sorry, but somebody out there needed to hear that. Um, but yeah, Pisces, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.